Hey guys, I'm Matt Adams, this is Dave Dice, and we're back with another Noria unboxing video. And today we're gonna to be talking about a specific product from Global Filter, and that's gonna be their filter vessel and a couple different filter options within that. So Dave, kind of knocking this off, uh, talk to me a little bit about the outside of this guy. Yeah, so the first thing that stands out is it's built like a tank, right? It's really well constructed and it'll last a long time. Sure, yeah, that's a big deal for me. Any application, I'm not only doing anything out in the field from an industrial standpoint, I wanna make sure it's gonna last, right? And this guy, just looking at it, generally just screams industrial grade. That's right, and there's many different options, right? You have a 304 stainless, a 316, or a carbon steel option. Okay, and that's another big deal for us, depending on what type of water or processed fluid we're gonna be moving through this guy, we wanna make sure it's applicable to that type of material as well. So that's a good fit for that, taking in consideration. Now, thinking about filtration, that's a big deal for us on our end. That's From right. lubrication, right? We wanna make sure we've got a right, good filtration, minimizing the contaminants that are getting in our system, mm -hmm. cleaning them up. Same thing maybe uh, happening out in the field for certain applications and systems, cleaning up the water, processed fluids, this is why this guy is standing out, right? That's right, it's very important. And you know, filters cost a lot of money, so you want something that really works well and is gonna do the job. And these guys have thought of everything. I'll go into a little bit more of the things that they've thought about once we open it up. But let me go over how easy this thing is to use, right? Okay. First off, they have everything labeled really nice here. Mm -hmm. So when it shows up on site, you're gonna know exactly where the inlet the outlet is, and also has two different outlet options. You have an outlet up high, and you also have an outlet down low. Yeah. So whatever your configuration is, you should be able to hook this thing up. Yeah. That's a really nice that they have everything labeled really nice. Yeah, so. it's something we probably take for granted, but when we get out in the field, we see that you know every time we walk into a new plant, we see piping not labeled, structures not labeled. So it's hard to know. It's hard to know inlet, outlet, and process flow but they kind of take care of this early on with that. So that's, a, that's a, absolutely a good touch. Yeah, and I also want to mention, you know, the, the lead time on these is really, really short. So if you order this thing, that it'll be ready to ship. They have hundreds of these ready to go. Okay, so fantastic. Sounds like great customer service. It, it really is. So let me go over a little bit of how easy this thing is to use, right? Okay, the sure. first thing you want to do is you're going to want to shut off the flow to the unit itself. So shut the okay, valve. Okay, like the change off process. Okay. That's right. Shut that valve that's flowing to this unit. The second thing you want to do is you're going to always bleed off the pressure, right? Mm -hmm. It's a filter uh, vessel, so it's going to hold pressure in there. Um, this one has a max pressure of 150 PSI with a temperature of 250 Fahrenheit. Yeah, and that's important to know, right? Anytime we're dealing with anything out in the field, Typically, T's and P's or temperatures and pressures are going to rear their heads, and we need to know what we're going to be working with here with this specific vessel. Great to know that. Now, if it's outside that range, you may want to reach out to some of the guys at Global Filter and see if they have a different application that might fit that need. But, That's yeah, right. Great. So, like I said, you're going to want to make sure all that pressure is bled off. Then, you just undo these eye bolts here, loosen this one up, and it's very simple. Just, you just lift up slightly and slide that around. The lid comes right off. No mess or anything. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna to wanna to drain a little bit of the processed fluid or water off. Okay, kind of lower the level Yeah, down. lower that level down so you can access that filter and, and grab that bag or cartridge out of there. Sure. So after that, you have your extra bag hold down mm -hmm. protection here. Pull that out and it's very simple. You just, these things lock in pretty well. Like I said, they have extra protection. So oh, just wow. give it a little pull. Yeah. This thing will come right out. Make sure you have a tub or something, put it right in your tub mm -hmm. and Grab your new one, put it right in there, Slide and it'll right lock right in. in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. So it looked like it was really difficult for that to get out early on, but that's actually a really great thing, right? Yeah. What Make sure that seal's in there so we don't have debris and uh, contaminant blow by from that system as well. So making sure that good seal there and putting that dude and locking that in, that's that's fantastic. Right. This V seal here, it really locks it in, makes it so that particles won't be getting by yeah. there. And also, so they have a cartridge, they have a bag, and then they also have a cartridge, right? Okay, so two different options for one specific vessel type. That's right, and this is a single cartridge mm -hmm. or single bag, but they also have a, a multi-bag or multi-cartridge okay. vessel as yeah, well. Depending so, on the need and application, so good amount of variety from these guys as well. That's right, like. so you saw how the bag went in there and out, the, the cartridge slides right in, and then there's actually, you can hear that yeah, sucker lock that right in. So it's really, really nice. And this is just ad added protection for yeah. the bags when they're in there. So sure. it's, it's a very simple unit to use. You just put this lid right back on, tighten those up, and you're ready to go. Make sure everything's closed. You're ready to go. Open that valve up, 
and you'll be filtering again. Fantastic. Great fit, great application, really solid uh, setup here. So Yeah, um, and, and the media is, they have about 4.4 square feet of media here mm -hmm. and 48.5 uh, square on the cartridges. On the cartridges themselves. So it really depends on what application and what type of system cleaning that we need to be going on. But yeah, a lot right. of options, a lot of great fit and uh, fantastic product. That's so, right. For more information on Global Filter products, follow the link below.